Welcome to Video Mag, where we honor the unsung and rare guitar playing journalists. All right, everything you've ever known about D. Armand guitars on the internet, I bet, came from this article right here. So we're going to cast our minds way back to 1999 when D. Armand guitars were the next hot thing. Honey, can you read them a bedtime story? Of course, dear. Be happy to. New guitars that hit the perfect balance between retro vibe and modern convenience are a scarce breed indeed. Those that do so while maintaining a reasonable price sticker are even rarer. This makes the new line of D'Armand Electrics, brought to you by the fine folks at Fender, a truly rare breed. Based on classic guild designs of the 60s, these guitars have all the retro mojo you could ask for but employ modern USA made pickups, sleek contemporary necks and hassle-free hardware and some of the finest Korean craftsmanship I've ever seen. If you're a few grand short of a 50s duo jet, the M75T retailing for $849 may be the answer to your prayers. Using a body shape reminiscent of early Guild Bluebirds, which were themselves inspired by Les Paul, a single cutaway solid top axe features a maple top, Agassiz back, Diamond informs us that Agassiz is a less expensive wood of the mahogany family that's used in many Asian instruments. It has a maple neck, a bound rosewood fingerboard with block inlays. Our review guitar was finished with a dazzling blue sparkle and came equipped with Diamond 2K pickups boasting top-notch playability and craftsmanship. This guitar will feel immediately comfortable to players of Les Pauls. The M75T solid body construction results in a slight percussive tight response with more well-defined, less round low end when it's set back in the neck position. Bottom line, excellent tone, playability, good looks, and ultra competitive pricing which should make these DRMs a very tempting guitar for the retro-minded. It's reassuring to see that guitars can be inspired from the past, can retain the vintage aura, while incorporating features that make them useful instruments for any number of present-day applications. Written by Tom Bajor in 1999, April edition with Stevie Ray Vaughan on the cover. When D. Armand guitars were the next hot new thing, but later were shelved by Fender. <laughs>